This is the Henry Rousseau Jungle Painting Part 3. We're going to put the animals in, particularly the bird right now. We're going to start with the bird. You can make your bird any color you'd like. I'm going to choose to make mine red. Um, however, you may choose kind of whatever color you want. I haven't used red yet, so I want it to be a little um, fun. I'm going to put some red right here. And of course, I'm going to make tints and shades of him as I'm sure you have guessed by now. I'm going to take my red. I cleaned my brush out beforehand. I cleaned it in my nice uh, dirty water copy as you can see. I'm going to have to clean that out in just a minute. But I'm going to start with my bird and paint his wings red. You may use a detail brush for this if you'd like um, since I realize that you might um, have trouble getting in there with a big brush. I'm actually going to use my paper towel situation here again because I'm doing this all at the same time so my brush is kind of, or my painting rather, is kind of wet still. <clears throat> now the idea here is you guys will be careful. Okay, be as neat as you can and if you uh, get any on the background you can always paint over it with green again. I'm going to paint my whole thing in red. Now I don't want this to look like a cardinal because there's no cardinals in the jungle. Um, and if we were to look back at the original one okay he um, actually had a little white belly like that and we're going to make his, we're going to take some blue and put some blue right on the top of his wing. Notice I'm not really rub, rub, rubbing it together because I don't want the paint to mix. I'm just like laying it on top. I'm going to go back to my red here. I've been wiping my brush off as I go. I'm going to take some red and white here, make kind of pink, make a tint of red. I'm going to paint the bottoms of his feathers and then I'm going to paint his tail with the pink. Okay. Okay, and then I'm also going to paint his plumage on the top of his head. Okay, I'm going to actually be creative and add some orange right up here. It can kind of look like a cockatoo. Or not a cockatoo, a parrot, sorry. And I'm going to add a little bit of orange right here for his beak. Okay. I'm going to add some white for his eyes. And a little dab of black for the pupils, if we can even see that. Um, and we're going to leave the bird at that. And that's the end of our bird.